Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of Real Steps, where you get a bite-sized market update for real estate while we get our steps in. On the first episode, we got Maureen Neely, Director of Office Leasing from Quadrille. How's it going, Maureen? Excellent, thanks. So the first question is, we know things have been slower in the market due to the pandemic. Uh, when do you think we're going to start to see raised confidence in tenants to start signing new leases? Well, I think that once the majority of us are fully vaccinated, we'll see that uh, we'll be returning to a normal activity. We'll be going to restaurants and uh, concerts, theaters and uh, weddings. And once we go back to that normal day-to-day -day activity, that'll include going back to the office. And when um, employers know what their numbers look like when their employees return to the office, you'll see that they'll be able to commit to signing leases once they know what their future looks like. Absolutely, I agree. I think we're starting to see the market pick up a lot and a lot of companies are starting to come forward and think about that return to office and plan out their workplace strategy. But my question is, have you seen a hesitation from tenants to return to the office? I think for some tenants, uh, they've enjoyed working from home through COVID and for that reason um, they are going to be continuing to want to work from home but I do believe the majority of us are looking forward to returning to the office. There's a lot to be said about uh, being face to face and being able to collaborate in person and for those people returning to the office is going to be a much more product productive way to do business and also if our employers ensure that safety protocols are met that will alleviate a lot of concerns that um, employees have to going back to the workplace. No, I totally agree and it's awesome to hear that Quadril is taking all those uh, steps to make it a safe return to work. What is your opinion on flexible leases? I mean, how are you planning for companies that they don't know their future growth strategy? They don't know how much real estate space that they are going to need. How are you, uh, how is Quadrial planning for that flexibility in their lease structure? Well, conceptually, it's a great idea to give tenants the ability to have flexibility in their lease term, but from a practical standpoint, it's hard to do. When tenants commit to space, they also uh, spend a lot of money in their tenant improvements and it's usually amortized over the term of the lease and um, without term, they're not able to do that. And similarly with landlords, we offer tenant improvement allowances and we need to amortize over uh, the term of the lease as well. And um, with uh, uh, short term flexible leases, it's difficult to do. So what I think tenants can do to alleviate that is to um, look at co-working space. So I would think that ideally they could um, commit to long-term leases for their basic office needs. And if they have contracts or projects that require additional space, they can go into co-working space and they can expand when, they're, when their needs uh, are there. But um, for the most part, they, uh, they, we're going to see long-term leases, I still think, or uh, less flexible leases. And the other way that uh, tenants can accommodate themselves for flexibility is to look at flexible office solutions, sort of like what Herman Miller can offer. So I think that um, from that perspective, tenants can still have the flexibility they want, but not necessarily in terms of a lease contract. No, those are all great points. And we have been seeing a lot more CMs, you know, kind of come to us and ask about different types of furniture solutions that can uh, be incorporated into spaces to future-proof them and allow for agility in the future and reconfiguration and, you know, speed up lead times as well and thinking about how spaces can be used a little bit differently in the, in the future to optimize that flexibility. So you bring up some excellent points and it's been such a pleasure to have you here today. This has been super insightful. I'm sure everyone here listening has has learned a lot and received a great bite-sized update. But yeah, I mean, how many steps do you think we got in today? Oh, at least a few thousand? <laughs> well, I got a record to beat for episode two. But thanks for being part of the show and yeah, stay tuned everyone. Thank you.